Hello, and welcome to the Inyo Pools How-To Guide section. Today, we will be walking you through how to replace the digital autopilot fuses. There are three fuses located in the digital autopilot power center. A blown fuse can affect the main AC power, control panel power, or the cell power. The following steps will provide a guide on how to replace the autopilot fuses. Things you'll need. 3 amp fuse, a 6 amp fuse, and a 20 amp fuse. Turn off the power to the timer box. There should be a circuit breaker before the timer box where the power can be turned off. Loosen the four black knobs on the control box. There are two located on each side. The black knobs only need to be loosened and not removed. Pull the autopilot cover away from the control box. There are still cables connected to the cover, so do not pull too far away from the box. On the inside of the autopilot cover, remove the black plug from the upper left corner of the control board. Remove the gray plug from the bottom left corner of the control board. The black tabs holding the gray plug in place will need to be pressed outward in order to remove the plug. The autopilot cover can now be completely removed. With a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws that secure the metal cover to the control box. Pull the autopilot metal cover away from the control box. There are still cables connected through the cover, so do not pull it too far away from the box. Unplug the black fan plug from the control board. Pull the black fan plug out through the hole in the metal cover. Feed the gray plug in through the hole on the metal cover. The metal cover can now be completely removed from the control box. Locate the three fuses on the control panel. There is one 20 amp fuse located in the upper left corner. This controls the cell power. A 3 amp fuse is located in the upper right corner. This is the control panel fuse. The third fuse is located in the lower left corner. This is the main AC power fuse. This fuse will be a 3 amp fuse or a 220 volt application and a 6 amp fuse for 110 volts. A small flathead screwdriver can be used to gently pry out the fuses. Before the new fuses are installed, we recommend verifying that the correct fuses will be installed into the correct spot. The fuses are labeled at the top with the correct amperage. Press the fuses into the correct fuse holders on the control board. Again, the 20 amp fuse will be installed into the upper left corner. The 3 amp fuse will be installed into the upper right corner. And a 3 amp 220 volt or 6 amp 110 volt fuse will be installed into the lower left corner. Once the fuses are installed, the control box can be put back together. The first step will be feeding the gray plug out through the hole into the metal cover. Feed the black fan plug in through the hole in the metal cover. Line up the metal cover on the autopilot control box and tighten the four screws.
With the autopilot cover in hand, plug the gray plug into the bottom left corner of the control board and press the two black tabs inward. Press the black plug into the top left corner of the digital control board. Place the cover onto the autopilot digital control box. Tighten the four black knobs and secure the cover in place. Turn on the power at the circuit breaker. The digital readouts of the output level, time, and temperature should now be properly displayed on the screen. Displays will vary depending upon version. The autopilot fuses have been properly installed and you can now continue to enjoy the benefits of a saltwater pool.